Hi guys, J. Raymond back with another video and today I'm going to do a story time. I'm going to tell you about the time when my doctor sent me to a pelvic physical therapist. Yes, a pelvic physical therapist. And, <laughs> and everything that happened. So let's start. So about maybe four or five years ago, I was going for a gynecological exam. And at the time they were checking to see um, my fertility levels and also the location of any type of lesions that I may have had pertaining to scar tissue from my endometriosis and inflammation of my ovaries and all that with my PCOS. So a little background, I've always had medical issues pertaining to my lady parts so it was routine for me to go check and this particular time I had an internal ultrasound done and they could not locate my ovary on the left side I believe because they said that my bladder was still full and it was bouncing a shadow off of the ultrasound and so they kept asking me you know do you have to use the bathroom and I'm like no I don't have to use the bathroom I just use the bathroom um anyway Fast forwarding, after that, they ended up catheterizing me so they could empty out my bladder so that they could get a clearer image of what was going on inside. And so after that, I was scheduled an appointment with a Euro gynecologist. And it was a male doctor. And of course, you know, one thing, I don't like male gynecologists. I'm under the impression that if you don't have a uterus and you can't tell me anything that's going on with my uterus. But regardless of that, he was the only urogynecologist available. Um, and if you don't know anything about urogynecology, it's a doctor that specializes in urinary issues pertaining to um, your ovaries and your uterus and all of that down, down there. Anyhow, um, so I went to see him and we discussed the fact that my bladder had been full and they taught me how to catheterize myself, which I told them I was not going to go through that because I know that leads to bladder infections. And I wanted to know exactly why they wanted me to do that because there hadn't been an issue before. And so went through a series of other exams and I had to do a bladder study, which I passed and um, ended up doing a series of MRIs, which that's a total different subject. Um, yeah, <laughs> there's some other issues going on with that. But anyhow they recommended that I go to a pelvic therapist, which um, they felt that I needed one because they said that my uterus was not relaxed enough and that my, um, my vaginal canal was too tight. And they said that the reason surrounding that was um, that my muscles were too tight in, in my pelvic floor region. And so I'm like, okay, so my muscles are too tight. That's the first I ever heard of that. I thought that your muscles are supposed to stay tight, honestly. But <laughs> anyhow, I digress. So I said, okay, I don't have to use any medication because I really don't like medication for anything that I don't have to take it for. So fast forward a couple weeks, have an appointment made at this physical therapist clinic. And it's a women's physical therapy clinic. And so I walk in. And I'm already a little nervous because I did not know exactly what all this entailed. So I go in, sign in and everything. She introduces herself and she leads me into a room that has a massage table, a couple lit candles in the corner, dim lights, and this like waterfall, like, you know, meditation type music. And so I'm like, okay, okay, you know, she just likes a relaxing atmosphere or whatever. And then she tells me to undress from the waist down, undress from the waist down. And I sit on the table and right then I'm like a little bit leery. Like this is totally weird, you know, because she's a therapist, you know, she's not a medical doctor. And I'm like, okay, but it was recommended. So I'm going to go with it because evidently my pelvic floor needs to be relaxed for whatever reason. So lay down on the table and she covers me up with a towel a warm towel by the way and she starts to ask me a series of questions about like my stress level and have i experienced any childhood sexual trauma or any type of abuse as an adult and i'm like no no and no and never 
<laughs> because I'm like, really? So this turned into like a real therapy session or something. You know, I haven't had any type of trauma like that. And I'm not trying to suppress any type of issues that could be affecting my pelvic floor. But anyhow, um, I'm like telling her like, no, didn't understand why she was asking me that. But I proceeded to let her do her job. And then she pulls out her little tray, her little um, cart with like all of her little instruments. And then she starts to take my abdomen up with like the little electrodes that, um, that like make your muscles jump. And so she put those along my um, abdomen, my lower abdomen. And then she tells me to lay back and relax and, you know, basically spread my legs like you would when you're in a gynecological exam. So I'm like, okay. And then she has these trays with these like little, um, little, um, well, they look like, ask me, but they're these little like um, different size little probes. And she says she's not going to use those unless they're, necessary and i'm like well i'm glad you're not using them because i don't use them personally and i don't want them in me in the first place and so um she starts to put a glove on and she takes her fingers and then she decide um uh, well i shouldn't say decide because that's I guess that's her job she massages my perineum almost like they do when you're getting ready to give birth and so she massages my perineum and you know, continues to tell me to relax. And then she goes a little bit deeper and she tells me that it's really tight and that she needs me to relax. And I'm like, you know, okay, this is medically necessary. Evidently she knows what she's doing, so I'm just gonna leave it alone. And about 10 minutes later, she's done. And she tells me that she's gonna give me time to take a nap and relax. I lay there on the table. And the only thing I could think in my mind is, did I just get molested? You know, like, really? <laughs> but it's medically necessary, right? So, I get my clothes on after that. I leave out, get my appointments, and I believe I went to maybe four or five more appointments over a two or three week period of time. And the whole time I'm thinking to myself, why am I going through this? I don't even understand what's going on, and I'm feeling dirtier. And I'm feeling that this is just not necessary. I don't understand how this is helping me at all. And so in the following weeks, I went and I tried to give it a chance. But then she's like, well, your body is not responding to this therapy. So we're going to have to um, go with probably inserting a probe or whatever. And I'm like, okay, that's it. That's it. Before she could do that, I went ahead and told her, you know what? I'm done with this therapy. I don't see how this is helping me. And I'm actually feeling a little bit um, insulted and a little bit uncomfortable. And so she's like, okay, fine. Well, you know, you're going to have to pay for the rest of the services. And I'm like, okay, whatever, you know, go ahead and bill me because my insurance, by the way, did not cover this therapy. And I went to my doctor and I'm like, you know, I stopped therapy and he's like you know well we didn't recommend that you stop therapy you know it's probably necessary for your particular condition and I'm like since when is somebody putting their hands in me and massaging me necessary I can massage my damn self if that's necessary and so my doctor was mad at me I ended up having to get another doctor because he's like you know if you're not gonna do this treatment then I can't see you and I'm like well that's fine and so <laughs> anyhow that's my story and any of you guys ever have to see a pelvic floor therapist please beware it's basically some man or woman who's gonna put their hand up your coochie and call themselves massaging it because they're trying to relax your pelvic floor for some type of reasons pertaining to either your bladder or your vaginal canal so yeah but um uh, yeah so anyhow that's my story and thank you guys for listening and if you guys have any crazy medical stories please let me know in the comment field below and um yeah be careful about what your doctor say because everything they say is not the right thing just stick with your regular appointments you know go ahead and breathe relax get your test results and be done with it you know but <laughs> yeah got the nerve to try and put her hands up me trying to tell me to relax trying to tell me that I need to be loose I mean, what, what the hell <laughs>
<laughs> Anyhow, you guys have a great day. Have a beautiful day and a beautiful night. And yes, if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscription button below. It's the red button below that says subscribe. And if you are coming back to my channel, thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for watching this channel right here today because, yeah, <laughs> I'm rambling. Uh, anyhow, I will be back. See you guys soon with another video and bye.